Hello, in this video I will show you how to set up this cheap UNO uh, basically sort of a knockoff I guess uh, chipset, let's call it that, a uh, little controller. Uh, now this thing basically what it does, it takes some commands, it has some Wi-Fi right, it takes commands and uh, it either turns the power on or off. Now this is of course a very basic explanation of it, but if you bought one, you are here, you probably know what it does, but you want to make it work because it probably doesn't work, uh, uh, which happened to me as well when I bought one. So I decided to make a little video showing you how to uh, get through all those obstacles. Uh, now, just because you know how to use these things doesn't mean you know how to make them work uh, because it can be quite tricky. Now, I bought this particular one. You see, it's some CUIISW brand. Uh, probably the brand will disappear in a few months, right? Uh, but uh, we have this. I ordered this. I paid this amount of money. And there is actually a very similar one on Amazon, I found. Uh, maybe there are cheaper ones, I don't know. But it seems to me that it's exactly the same. The brand is different. Uh, in the middle, I think there is a different logo. But... Uh, the price is also different. It's $20 instead of $6. But I do believe it's actually the same thing. Now, of course, the shipping will take uh, uh, less and whatnot, but uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Now, this, however, does have this little table, okay? And this table is quite useful. I'll show you that later. Uh, but once you, have, once you have this device, you will need to connect it, okay? You need to connect to it and upload some data to it, right? Uh, some code in order for it to do something. So, you will use this little USB, right? You will use this little USB and chances are it will not work. It will not function. Nothing will happen. Another port will not appear. We'll get to the ports later, but in order for it to work, First, you need to download this uh, driver from this Chinese page. Now, the English one I could not find, uh, and I did see people suggest this one, so it is sort of a trustworthy um, kind of a source. This is for the USB connection, the driver for basically that USB part of the whole arrangement, okay? So, you download this. Now, you click, uh, you click actually on, on, on this little... Uh, link and the download starts and then you have a little Excel file you just execute that uh, it's actually an archive file you take it uh, out of the archive state and uh, you execute the executable or you can go through that annoying process of going through driver update but that's a waste of time just execute it and install the driver and it will work uh, now then another thing you need if you don't know yet you need this Arduino IDE so you go to Arduino uh, or however it's pronounced, uh, .cc, okay, .cc, it's not .com or .net, it's .cc. And then you go to software and to downloads. You go to downloads and then you'll download uh, this ID. Now, you can download the latest version, it should work. Uh, uh, I used uh, 1.65, I believe, uh, because of some reasons. So, uh, which made me think it would work better on some circumstances. Now, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, try it on that, uh, and for me, it worked on 1.65. If you want that, uh, then go below here somewhere, uh, right here, previous uh, uh, versions of the current release. So I will paste all these links uh, in the description, as well as the uh, links to the items if you want to purchase one. Uh, now, from my experience, they do actually work. It's just troublesome to, well, set it up. And it is quite annoying. But now, let's take a look at the Arduino IDE. And let's take a look at the steps you need to take in that in order for this to work. Now then, it is time to take a look at the IDE, the so-called IDE. It's more of a text editor, really. It allows you to upload stuff and compile stuff, but uh, it has no sort of modern IDE-ish features. There's no IntelliSense like in Visual Studio, nothing, nothing that's uh, really helpful in terms of productivity. But uh, if we go to Tools, 
we will need to go to Boards Manager, but not yet. Before we do that, we need to go to Preferences. That's in File, Preferences, okay? And in Preferences, this will pop up, and then you need to add a link, Additional Boards Manager URLs, okay? Now, you need to provide this, this link. It will be provided in the description. Uh, but you need to provide this link and this allows you to sort of um, uh, download additional definitions, you could call them, of these additional uh, knockoff uh, arrangements, okay? Um, you're not buying something very sort of original, you're buying something a bit knockoffish. Now, I'm not sure how much of a knockoff it is. Uh, um, the stuff's supposed to be open source uh, for the most part, uh, uh, but it's not the highest quality item you are buying. I do believe it works, uh, uh, but it is very troublesome in terms of these drivers and the setup and all that, but it is a lot cheaper. So, I'm going to cancel because it's already inserted, but you would click OK, right? And then once you have that, you can download some of these uh, uh, boards okay so you go to tools then go to board like this and then boards manager okay so you basically download that definition of a, of a board now in here simply type in esp and what we need is esp8266 you can see that on the actual chip it says that uh, some descriptions will also provide that name, so it does all match. ESP8266 by the ESP8266 community, right? This is what you need, it's already installed. If it wasn't installed, you would install it, okay? Once you have that installed, once you have that installed, you can then go to boards. You can then go to properly boards, right? and then choose your board. So you go here and then you go down and down and down and down. Let's see if I can do it properly. Okay, and basically we need a, a generic ESP8266 module, right? Like that, we need a generic module. And then we have it, and then we have it. Now, we do have some of these um, uh, features, some of these properties, options, whichever words you like, uh, uh, but I believe most of this stuff can stay as default as it doesn't really damage anything, and if you're interested, obviously feel free to play around. Now, one important thing is port, okay, port. The port needs to be that new port uh, that you get once you connect that USB. However, if you do not install the driver that I've shown you previously from our Chinese site, it will not work, it will not appear. So if it doesn't appear, do check if that driver exists. If it doesn't, install it and it should appear. New COM port. Okay, once selected, you can begin your uploading. Almost, actually, not, not, not exactly, not fully. Uh, basically, what happens is you need to click this red button. Now, I'll show you all that, but let's take a look at what can we upload. You go to File, okay, you go to File, you go to Examples right here, and then you can get all these different um, examples, right? And this is great. You don't have to waste time writing basically a small amount of code just to see if the board itself works, right? You can just go to basics and you choose blink, okay, you choose blink, but, but, uh, this will be a bit uh, troublesome, a bit different, um, it will deal with uh, ports right away, so we have to sort of connect something, uh, but if I go down a bit, if I go down a bit, I can choose my ESP, ESP8266, right, this is what we have, and then we have blink. Okay, Blink. This is what most people do, I guess. Uh, and once you select Blink, a new one will appear. So you can see it's another one, right? Another one will appear. We can actually zoom into that, just like that. You can work with the smaller ones. It doesn't really matter. There's not that much code usually. And then you get these, uh, this basically predefined arrangement. There's setup and there's 
loop. Now, this is not what we are dealing with, but basically this one uses uh, built in. This one uses built in. Now, I'll change it to 5000 and 5000 just to make it a bit more interesting, just to see that it's not just blinking on its own, but that it is blinking because you have this code inserted into that chip. Okay. Once we have that, we can click upload. Okay. Now, uploading itself, it doesn't take much time at all. It's extremely quick. But uh, this compilation sometimes takes uh, quite a bit of time, which can be a bit annoying, at least uh, in my opinion, right? You will see it, it will take a bit of time, but uh, once it does that, it will start uploading. Now, once the upload starts, these LED will start uh, flashing. But for, for the upload to work, there is another thing I have to show you. Let's see how it finishes and then I will show you uh, that uh, sort of arrangement with the buttons and where the buttons are. Okay, it's uploading, uploading, uploading. And basically once these dots uh, finish multiplying, that's when the upload is finished, right? Or it says done uploading. Okay, and now the LED blinks and it works perfectly. Okay. Now, one more thing, and then another thing with those buttons. There is a red button on the board. So basically, if I would click upload again, it would fail. But in order for it to work, I need to click the red button and then click upload. If I do that, everything will work perfectly. Now let's take a look at those. Um... Now then, in order for this whole arrangement to work, you will need to click or rather switch, I guess, the switches, right? Now, we will look at this uh, little picture and um, it is buttons or switches rather five to seven, five, six, seven. They have to be on, the others have to be off. That combination has to be implemented in order for you to upload. Otherwise, nothing will work. But it is a bit tricky, okay? You can get lost in this. So this in the image I'm trying to zoom in, uh, that's what you have. That's what you have, okay? So these are 10 switches, I believe. Uh, actually, eight switches, not 10. Uh, we have these switches. And again, five, six, and seven on, every other off. But they are very tiny, okay? They are very tiny tiny extremely tiny and they also come with this little cover okay with this little cover and that makes them almost invisible a very annoying thing uh, you do see the buttons but they look like pieces of plastic some little relays you don't even notice that they are buttons and even once you peel that off you still have to use uh, maybe a little needle or a little screw or uh, something a little nail perhaps uh, to actually switch them on or off so do be mindful of that and uh, again we start with the drivers the trouble with drivers you, dr you download them from that chinese site then we have uh, uh, the switches right we have the switches so you just peel it off and use something small to switch them on that is five to seven, five, six, seven on every other switch off. Okay, that's what you have to do. Then in the Arduino IDE, you have to provide that link and then download those definitions of, of this board, then select that and then you can upload. Now, during the uploading, you have to click the red button, the red button on the actual uh, chip okay on the actual device before re-uploading so you upload it then click red button to upload again before uploading again so this is my explanation how it works feel free to ask some questions if you have any also take a look at my confession solution learning platform where you will find many of my courses uh, c-sharp related and other courses and do subscribe to this channel